I think it's going on wonderfully, um, given that there were a little bit, uh, a few hitches, um, you know, when it started off. But I think overall it's, it's running well and, uh, you know, given the number of participants, the limited resources that uh, the local organizing committee and the secretary had to work with, I think they've, they've pulled a, a very good um, conference together and uh, for that I, I really wish to, to tell them congratulations. This is one proof that um, the Africans could also be involved in something of this uh, magnitude. Um, and I think that, you know, um, it's allowed us to, to talk with one another and to, to see exactly how um, administration could be done. I think that with the proper collaboration between the next secretariat and whoever is going to organize this Pan-African conference, things can, they can still be handled properly. On the scientific front, I think there's been a lot of progress, not only with um, vaccines to see new products come into the market, but not, also, <clears throat> not limited also to the drugs, because new drugs have come into the pipeline. But there have been suggestions on new concepts, like the multiple first-line therapy, there has been progress made with the vaccine, with the with the vectors and vector control. Um, there has been an enormous capacity built um, in terms of what researchers could do and what kind of evidence could be brought to the table. Um, there has been an interaction with policy to start letting African countries know that um, they need to set regulatory um, bodies in place to be able to receive the new interventions. And when you look at uh, the whole global communication, there has been progress. Countries have taken up uh, the advocacy fight. They have taken up uh, better communication and even journalists um, in Ethiopia and Cameroon, I think, have created groups that address malaria uniquely. Um, they have, we've seen publications from these groups and I think that this has been um, quite something that uh, we had not seen in the past and I can only hope that I mean, it continues um, in the future. I think what I'd like to see is more interaction or more promotion of uh, what the genomics can offer because this would allow us to look for new targets, not only for vaccines, but also for um, also for, for, for the malaria drug, anti-malaria drugs. Um, I think also the um, aspects of uh, how this plays directly with, um, with policy and how to move this from the, the very theoretical concepts into operational um, would also help greatly. There are two aspects that are usually not quite addressed and I'd like to see an increase in those aspects and that's social anthropology and the health economics of uh, what we're dealing with. So with, with that um, in mind, I think this would be what I'd like to see. Now, funders usually give money and then there's donor fatigue that sets in. But I think with uh, continuous pressure and advocacy, um, funders would see the need to, to maintain this level um, of involvement or even increase it um, for, the, for the betterment of, um, of, of, of malaria efforts on the continent.